everyone it has been a while since i vlogged i don't even know where the time has gone but this morning i've picked up my camera because i have got a really exciting couple of days coming up i am going to soho farmhouse i love it there and the difference of this time is that i am going with a brand and i have never ever been to soho farmhouse as part of work it's always been like my chill out place to just put down the phones and just do nothing and just chill um, but this is, I suppose you could call it work, and because I'm going with Bare Minerals, literally my favourite makeup brand, I am able to film and vlog there because we've got the whole place. Normally you can't film, they're really strict, which I quite like, but because it's kind of loads of us Instagram vlogging YouTube crowd going, um, I'm pretty sure we can just film and just show you guys around and have a great couple of days. There's some really great girls going from around the world and from the UK. I'm so happy that Susie is going, hello October, uh, Snooksy, Casey and also Josie, fashion mumbler. So it should be really, really great. I'm so excited. I'm about to jump in my car and like I say, it's a global event. So loads of different girls from all over the world are going. So yeah, should be really, really great. And these two babes behind. I hey like girls. I like you. Look great. You keep saying that. You definitely don't. Um, we just had a masterclass with Rosie Huntington Whiteley, which was amazing. She's unbelievably beautiful. She's not fair. Oh, so so great. So many tips. I'm going to enter the footage that I got now, so you can see what we learned. And we like to talk and kind of decide what we wanted. So of course, I'm inspired by what Rosie's wearing today always <laughs> style icon um, and then we were kind of talking I want to do like kind of a smudgy smoky but brown toned warm kind of imperfect eye I think it's more important just to get the product on and then have your your detail brush or your blending brush handy to kind of do all of the work for you to perfect. This slash Tokyo is great. The other thing about mascara I think that people forget is that no matter what mascara it is, I always scrape the brush. It, there's always way too much product on the brush. And I think that's a lot of the times when people end up not liking mascara is just because there's too much of it and then they don't um, want to use it. This one, not, this one, not so much. Not so much. Yeah, but most of the really you know, ones that are going to build the lashes, it's just basically scrape it all off and then you'll love it. Look at all of this incredible food! Wow! Oh, it looks so great. I just had the most gorgeous facial using the Bare Minerals products. It was so nice. I feel so relaxed. I had planned to go to the gym. I was like, right, lunch, facial, gym, get ready to go out. But I'm so relaxed from the facial. I just think I'm gonna chill. Uh, I've got a couple of hours until I need to be ready, so I might just do some work. Uh, as you can see, I have arrived in my cabin. How gorgeous is this? This is the studio cabin, and I'm pretty sure I have stayed in this exact cabin before. Or maybe it was the one along. I can't remember. They all kind of look really similar, um, but it's beautiful. Let me just give you a little tour before I mess it all up. Let's go outside quickly, actually, because we've got the gorgeous bike so i've got my own bike here don't know if i'm actually going to have any time to oh look they put flowers on there they definitely don't normally do that see i don't know if i'm actually gonna have time to cycle <laughs> but this is my cabin so in we go i just love the decor oh my wellies i feel like i have vlogged here this seems to ring a bell i spent my birthday here last year with joe and i'm pretty sure i filmed some of it so yeah, we walk in, have my little kitchen here. Oh, I love how they leave you some sourdough bread. I might have some of that. Oh, um, which one would it be in? This one, I think. They sometimes leave you peanut butter. <gasps> Yay, it's a peanut butter. Yay. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have some of that. Thank you. And then we come in. This is the bed. Actually, I think this might be a different one. I'm saying it rings bells with me vlogging. I'm definitely think I have vlogged at Soho Farmhouse before. 
not meant to but I think I have before <laughs> but this seems like a slightly different layout actually um oh look flowers oh my god I didn't even notice that that's amazing that's so pretty I'm gonna have to take that home gorgeous flowers thought that was something else it's just a jug <laughs> very nice haven't actually opened this let's see what this is bare minerals power of good how do we open that? There we go. Oh, I love the attention to detail. It was so interesting listening to Rosie talk earlier about beauty and makeup and everything. So great. Oh, look. Oh my goodness, all of my favorites. Oh, yes. Gen Nude. What shade is this in? Oh, Bellini Brunch. I haven't had that one before. Lovely. Oh, Rose. I don't have this. Wait, are these all the new? I think this is a new collection. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Golden beige, they got my shade. So this is the Originals foundation. Honestly, no joke, the best foundation in the world. Yes, I needed a new, new um, brush. So guys, I think this is a new launch. I've got copper, latte, and neutral, and I've not got the rose. So that is super exciting. Okay, it's crazy how excited I can get about products. <laughs> so yeah, that's the little cabin. Oh, I love being here. Oh, we haven't looked in the bathroom. I haven't looked in the bathroom. So here we go. They always have the most gorgeous bathrooms at the farmhouse and the most comfortable dressing gowns. And I'll just give you a little outfit of the day. This dress is by Dagny London. It's a beautiful, sustainable brand first time wearing them but only recently discovered them i just love their designs and obviously it's an absolute bonus that they are all sustainable so it's absolutely brilliant um beret i bought from a market recently it's actually on joe's birthday so last weekend from broadway market and i just saw little hats there i don't know what the brand is i don't even know if it is a brand they're like little homemade berries but I'm sure if you go to Broadway Market by London Fields uh, on whatever, whenever Saturday you have free, they should um, have them somewhere there. And boots are so, so old. I literally don't even know where these are from. But it would be useless telling you anyway because they wouldn't be available. They're literally like six years old or something crazy. Um, Ta-da! That is my outfit. But I am getting changed in a minute into something for dinner tonight. So I haven't actually explained much about what is going on. So Bare Minerals have obviously invited um, a few of the fans of the brand from around the world to come and join them uh, at Soho Farmhouse. And Rosie Huntington Whiteley is here, obviously, as you saw, she gave like this amazing um, makeup masterclass with a makeup artist, Nikki, is her name Nikki? Mm. Nikki, De Roest. She's uh, like the Bare Minerals global makeup artist. Absolutely brilliant. Full of knowledge. Found it so interesting. So yeah, that was with Rosie earlier, the uh, masterclass. And Hayley Baldwin is also here with Justin Bieber because Hayley is uh, another global ambassador for Bare Minerals. So yeah, it's brilliant, like a really great crowd. And as you saw earlier, Susie is here, Snooksy and Jess, who's absolutely lovely. And Josie is here as well. I haven't filmed her yet though. I haven't really, um, haven't really seen her. Well, I have seen her around, just haven't filmed her, but she's here. <laughs> so it's a great crowd and tonight will be lovely. Right, next outfit. I am now ready for the evening. Everything I'm wearing head to toe is so old, so I'm not wearing anything new. Um, let's start down here. So I am wearing my over the knee boots. These are one or two years old. They're from Next. They're super, super comfortable. Um, my skirt is from <laughs> Sandro or Marge, one of them. I know they're so similar. Sandro or Marge. Um, my bag is so old. It's actually worn so much along the outside and the back. I mean, look at that. That's not meant to be there. But I actually like how worn it is. Oh, the back looks quite new. That's impressive. <laughs> but I like it, how it's very worn in. So that's Hill and Friends. Um, I am wearing, I'll show you the coat and then I'll take it off. Coat is, um, well, jacket is from Lacoste. I like it, it's like a half trench kind of style. 
and it's quite baggy but I like it with this look because I didn't want anything too smart with the, this skirt and boots it would look too done up if you know what I mean so underneath I have just got let's just let that hang there um, I've got this roll neck, black, quite simple top. I like the sleeves, I like the length of them. And yeah, just tucked into there. And then my necklace is from Monica Vineda, or Vineda, who told me this? Victoria, Victoria from In The Pro, she was basically telling me how to say it, because I've always said Monica Vineda, and apparently that's wrong, apparently it's Monica v Vineda. I've got this mental block with this name. Monica Vinegar, Monica Vinegar, Vin oh, Vinegar, what? Uh, anyway, <laughs> bracelet is also Monica Vinegar. <laughs> I got it right that time. And earrings, Oh, Kate Spade, there we go, Kate Spade. Um, this bracelet is actually the only thing that's new. Oh, this, no, I've had that while. Well. Yeah, bracelet is new and I love it. It's like a charm bracelet and you can put loads of different charms on it, but I've just got one which is on the other side there with my N on it. And makeup is pretty much all Bare Minerals. I barely had to even open any of the products that they gave me because I literally had a bag full of Bare Minerals products anyway. Totally by coincidence because it's like my favourite makeup brand. And yeah, this is the result. I'm actually thinking about potentially filming a... We're going to go over here. Filming a makeup look tomorrow. We are leaving, I think, in the morning. So we'll see. I'm going to continue this vlog tomorrow, you know. This is going to be like a two-day vlog in one. So I'm going to have dinner tonight. Tomorrow, hit the gym, get some breakfast. And then if I have time, I'm going to show you my makeup look. Look at how beautiful these lights are. I just feel like these twinkly fairy lights make everything look incredible. So gorgeous. And then the dinner is right through there. Look what Snooksy and I have gone for an old fashioned. We've even got orange peel in there because we are so <laughs> profesh. Cheers. Woo! Good morning, so it is the next day. I'm sorry I haven't filmed that much. I was expecting to film a lot more than I did. Um, I guess I was just having a great time and I forgot to pick up my camera and it actually takes a while to get it back into the swing of vlogging. I haven't been doing it for a while, but I will be doing Vlogmas, so I need to get my practice in. I am going to be doing my makeup. Um, I am basically, this is my makeup bag. This is by Elizabeth Scarlett. It's a great brand, this makeup bag. Um, I believe some of the proceeds of each sale goes towards um, helping animals and conservations in Africa. It's, it's like a really great initiative. Um, but this is basically all of the makeup that I have been using for a long, long time, but with a couple of new additions like this. This is the Rose Eyeshadow Palette from the Gen Nude Collection with Bare Minerals. And it is so beautiful. I haven't used it yet. Um, I've had a little peek and I just think they're beautiful colours and perfect for daytime. So I'm excited to use that. I still haven't worked out if this is new or if I just haven't seen it and haven't used it but I'm looking forward to trying it. Last night was so lovely. One of the reasons I couldn't film was because I was pretty much opposite Justin Bieber and Hayley Baldwin and then Rosie was behind me and I was just like now is not the time to get my camera out and start filming. You need to like respect people's privacy right? Um, but everyone was so lovely. It was a great evening, really great food. I can't remember when I last filmed. Oh, we went back to Susie and Jess's cabin and had a few drinks. That was really fun. And then, yeah, just came back, came home in my dressing gown. I stole one of their dressing gowns and, yeah, had a good sleep. And then this morning, I just went and grabbed some breakfast. So, yeah, really nice. So, I'm going to prep my skin. Please excuse my nails. Um, with the Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. Whenever I use the Originals foundation, I always use this primer. It, honestly, the effects afterwards are so, so good. Like, it, it's definitely worth priming your skin before using the Originals foundation. Then, of course, the Originals foundation. The Originals foundation has been around forever, and I do personally feel like I go through stages with it but when I like 
start using it again i'm just like oh my god why did i ever stop it's amazing especially when you are going through stages of breakouts i have got really bad skin at the moment like all around here mm, i don't know what's going on it's bad so you obviously are meant to do the swirl tap and then buff i sometimes forget the tap though i'm obviously just doing this really quick this is how i do my makeup in the morning <laughs> it's a bit rough and ready <laughs> where's my concealer here it is. Okay, so I have been using the Laura Mercier uh, Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer for the last like few days. But I've got a new shade here of the Bare Skin Bare Minerals Concealer. They gave this to us in our room, so I've got a different shade to this, but this one might be better because I had to stop using the other one because it was a bit dark. I'm just gonna cover all these blemishes go away yeah my skin has been massively playing up recently uh and luckily i've always had pretty clear skin never had to really worry about breakouts that much even as a teenager i was really really lucky um but since i've turned 26 i don't know what's going on <laughs> my skin is just massively playing up but i did have a facial um a couple of weeks ago and I, I told the woman that and she was like your skin goes through seven year cycles and you are obviously just ha going through a stage where your skin is just changing basically it's nothing to like be worried about totally normal but i'm like i don't like it right concealer done i'm just gonna go over with the um mineral veil this again is like a life changer if you're using the originals foundation. I definitely recommend using both of them together. This one, I don't do the whole swirl thing. I tend to tap this one just because I want it to be like a veil. I don't want to like buff it in. I am going super fast. <laughs> I'm checking out in a minute and the guy is coming literally in like 15 minutes to pick up my cases so <laughs> i'm only half packed so i'm trying to do this speedily so i'm going to go in with some bronzer this is the bare minerals bronzer in warmth this is their mineral bronzer so it's like the pigmented version like the bronzed version of the originals foundation i suppose i look so pale in this light it is so gray outside honestly it's horrible i need some bronze That is a little bit better. I'm now going to use the Gen Nude blush in Bellini Brunch. This is a new shade for me. I used it last night for the first time and it's a lovely kind of corally, peachy kind of colour. I normally go for the pink tones, but this I was actually really impressed by. One interesting thing that Nikki was saying yesterday in the makeup masterclass was that you should always go for a matte blush rather than a shimmer highlight blush because you're going to put the highlight on the top and you want the highlight to be here, so a little bit higher than your cheekbones so that the light really catches it. If you've got a shimmery blush as well on the apples of your cheeks, it's just all gonna look a bit too much. So you go for a matte blush, this one is matte, and then a lovely highlight. I am using the Laura Mercier, let me show you. Oh, just got it everywhere. <laughs> the Laura Mercier highlighter. What is this one actually called? This is the translucent loose setting powder. So it's not actually a highlighter, but it is very shimmery. So, <laughs> and it's loose powder, so it does get everywhere. But I have got so many compliments on this recently. So it's just up here and then up here. So it literally is a highlight and it is so beautiful. It's very, very subtle. It's not like bam, highlight. And it just catches the light really beautifully. Right, oh, okay, this is amazing. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base basically an eyeshadow primer. It is the best eyeshadow primer that I have ever used. It sets really quickly, it's not sticky, it's really matte, it's honestly amazing to uh, use before you do your eyes. Oh wow, 
would mean I was saying do it quickly. I have got a highlight up here. But it's a loose powder. So it's you can like really manipulate it. Move it around, you know? There we go. Better. So just quickly, a couple of strokes of this. Use your finger. And already it like turns into a powder or something. It's just the most incredible texture. I love it. Right, so I'm going in with the eyeshadow palette, the rose one. So we have got some beautiful shades here actually. Most of them are matte. So we have got two matte ones here, very, very pale, and then the two matte dark ones down there, and then these have a beautiful, beautiful shimmer. I'm going to use this one, this is Pixie, and just start from the inside corner out and just kind of cover the lid. I'm gonna go in with boho. It's like a gorgeous kind of rose gold color. It's beautiful. That, I haven't noticed that in the other palettes actually. That's gorgeous. So I'm going to start from the outer corner and just work my way in through the crease. And just do that wind wiper <laughs> movement back and forth. Oh, I really like that. That is lovely. I'm just going to take a bigger, kind of fluffier brush and blend that out a little bit. I'm going to take that same colour, kind of underneath my lower lash line slightly. Just going to take a little bit of this shade down here. It's like that matte, kind of ashy brown colour called Soul. I don't want too much of this, but I'm just going to work this on the outer corners just to add a little bit of depth. Now for brows, I have been using this little gel pot by Brow by Me. I don't actually know where this came from. I, it kind of appeared in my makeup bag. I think it must have been sent to me in my PO box. Um, but I've been using this kind of throughout the summer. Lasts forever. It looks like it's untouched, but. No, I've been loving this. This is the Artistic Brow Creator, masterfully dark. And I believe it came with this brush. Well, yeah, this it has no branding, but it's got a great tiny little spoolie on the end. So I'm just gonna brush through those brows. Um, but I haven't been using this. I have been using the Lily England Brow brush and I just start from the kind of middle of the brow and work do the kind of like outer half first I've got 10 minutes before the guy is coming to collect my luggage <laughs> we're nearly done it's all good Right, now on to mascara. I always have to curl my lashes because they just go straight down. And recently I have been using the Givenchy mascara. This is in deep black. It says it is the Noir Interdit mascara. I like the um, brush. It's a pretty good brush. And for the lower lashes, I love using this Bobbi Brown mascara. I, it's literally come off with what the writing is, what it's called. I think it, this is the Intensify mascara or the long wear. I can't remember. I'll link it down below for you. But the brush is so, so tiny. I love it. So it's absolutely perfect to get in there on the lower lashes. Okay, so last but not least, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Between the Sheets. Yeah, Between the Sheets. It's like a beautiful daytime shade. Very nude, very natural. But I do love it. Oh, it looks so pink on here. Mm, I can't believe how pink that looks. Like, my face looks so pale with these pink lips. In real life, 
<laughs> it looks so different. Right, I've made such a mess. Look at my leg. Can you see I've got all of that loose powder all up my leg? <laughs> that is the problem with loose powder from the, it was this one I think. I've got highlighter all over me. Right, so that is makeup. I hope you like it. Um, this has literally been my day-to-day -day makeup for weeks. Like, even throughout the summer, I haven't really even changed up my makeup for autumn, which I probably should do soon, but I'm quite happy with it. Um, really like this. That is a lovely, lovely shade. I thought the copper one was my favourite, but I think <laughs> now this is my favourite. So, plan for today. Guy should be here any minute to pick up my bags I need to pack. And then I think I'm just heading home. I was gonna go to Zoe's launch for her book tonight, but she's not feeling well. So I think I'm just gonna have a cleaning night at home. Boring Friday night. But um, Joe has been away in Brazil for work for a week and he gets back in the morning. So yeah, really excited about that. So part of me feels like I should just wrap this video up now. I might, um, I'll show you my outfit in a minute. I'll get fully ready and everything and then, yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> so as you can see, I am home. I didn't vlog anymore. I uh, literally had to run out of the cabin, check out, drove home, just did some work and I am now home. And I am just gonna hang out. I'm gonna go to the post office now, run a few errands. Nothing exciting on this uh, glorious Friday night. But I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.